I'm Sophie. And I am Zach, and this is the ninth lesson, and welcome to class. For today's topic is health problems for general English B1. Mogesalmabit, Mesopoar, Eskizakia, Etilios, Conida Bruneba, Trans Telescolashi, Ronda Lichaniga Quatilis Tema, Ikneba Jantelobis Problemabi, Tkano or Absogad English source, Done B. Erti. So for the agenda today, like always, we are going to start with the vocabulary and then roll right along to the reading comprehension. And in the middle, we have the grammar. And right after that, we have the summary. And lastly, the homework, our favorite part. Video show that we will take a look at it. It has got its not three hundred and thirty gigmas. Three hundred and thirty. Record all to start with a lexic is just solid. I'm going to change all the text texts. I'm going to quick the grammatical is our just show up. I'm going to show a jump up. Take a look at the last rule up. All of that is the oral is actually not all of it. Zach, what do you do when you want to see the doctor? Is there any procedure that you follow? Oh, uh, usually you have to have something wrong with you first. Definitely. And then you can either call them or write them an email telling them what's wrong. And eventually they will make an appointment for you. And you can go in and see them and do all the tests and everything you need to do to feel better. Absolutely right. And for our first section is, of course, the vocabulary section. And here are the vocabulary words for today's lesson. Ahlaki Gadawidet, Lexic is Nazil Z, Questina Shea Sitrobi, Romlipsat, Eirtat Shevis Saulit, Triondel Gagotils. So, first is crutch, and it is a noun, and it is the things that you put under your uh, arms so you can help you walk when you have a broken leg or something wrong with you. Crutch in Georgian means our Jenny. Crutch, our Jenny. Crutch, our Jenny. Crutch, our Jenny. And next we have a thermometer, which is also a noun. And in English, it is the little piece of metal or plastic thing that you put in your mouth to see your temperature. Definitely. Thermometer in Georgian sounds quite similar. Uh, it is thermometry. Thermometer, thermometry, thermometer, thermometry, thermometer, thermometry. And next we have medicine, which is a noun. And it is something that helps you feel better that usually the doctor gives you. It could be a pill or something else. Definitely. Medicine in Georgian means tzamali. Medicine, tzamali. Medicine, tzamali. Medicine, tzamali. Our next word is plaster. Plaster is a noun and in English it means... In English it means... Uh, when you break your leg and you have to put plaster on your leg or your arm to keep it from moving. Very true. Plaster in Georgian means sahwewi and binti. Plaster sahwewi and binti. Plaster sahwewi and binti. Plaster sahwewi and binti. And next we have inhaler and it is a noun. And it is something uh, that you uh, breathe into or you inhale from, and it helps you uh, with breathing problems. And it's a kind of medicine. True. Inhaler in Georgian means inhalatory. Inhaler, inhalatory. Inhaler, inhalatory. Inhaler, inhalatory. Our next word is stethoscope. Stethoscope is a noun, and in English it means... In English it means uh, the little device that a doctor or even sometimes a nurse has that has around their arm, and they use it to listen to your heartbeat. Or maybe lungs as well. And lungs as well. <laughs> stethoscope uh, in Georgian means stethoscopy. Stethoscope, stethoscopy, stethoscope, stethoscopy, stethoscope, stethoscopy. And next we have syringe, which is also a noun. And it is something that you put medicine or a vaccine in and you uh, put it in your arm usually and you push in the medicine or vaccine. Syringe uh, is in Georgian spritzi. Syringe, spritzi, syringe. Spritzi, syringe, spritzi. Our next word is also related to medicine. It's peel. Peel is a noun, and in English it means... And in English, 
it is usually a medicine that you take and it's a little like ball or a little capsule and you take it with water. True. Pill in Georgian means abi an tableti. Pill abi an tableti. Pill abi an tableti. So now let's move on to our first vocabulary exercise and match the words with the correct pictures. Ahlaki gadawidet chwens pirvel savarjishoze tkvens tinashe motsemuli es sitqobi chwen mat ertad unda sheusabamot motsemuli suratebi. Let's go over the words first. We have inhaler, pills, medicine, stethoscope, crutch, plasta, syringe and thermometer, right? Yep. So our first word is inhaler. So mm -hmm. as you said, uh, it is used for the uh, uh, breathing problems, exactly. right? Exactly. So which picture depicts best the inhaler? Oh, it should be picture C. It looks like the thing that you use to breathe into. <laughs> Absolutely right. And our next word is pills. Uh, so pills is uh, some kind of a sort of medicine that you uh, swallow uh, to get better. Mm -hmm. So we have here two pictures that might be related, but one is the best. So we have A and G. Mm -hmm. Both of them are related to the medicine, but which one depicts pills? Oh, it should be A because it looks like it has a different variety or all different varieties of pills. Definitely. Pills, picture A. Our next word is medicine. So I think here we need picture G, right? I think so too. I think you're definitely right. And the next one is stethoscope. Mm -hmm. Zach, do you remember what we use stethoscope for? You use it to listen into your heart or your lungs. True. So it should be picture H. Absolutely right. Picture H is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. And then we have crutch. Uh, and that's, bec uh, that's when you break your leg or you have some serious injury on your legs and you need, need these to walk. Yeah, right? they're a kind of support. <laughs> True. And uh, picture E would be for this one. Exactly. E, crotch. And the next we have plaster. And as you said, we use this for some kind of injuries when you need to um, uh, cover it, uh, your skin mm -hmm. with, uh, with this. So which picture do you think would best describe I think it's picture F. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. And the next we have syringe for uh, different vaccines or a medicine to uh, put into your body. Um, so which word would uh, syringe describe? It should be B, and a lot of people are scared of these. Absolutely, yes. And the last one, quite obvious, it's thermometer uh, to measure your temperature, right? Uh, when you are sick, when you have a flu or a cold or, I don't know, other diseases. So the picture D should describe um, this the best. Exactly, great. And now we have our second set of vocabulary words. <laughs> So our first word is cough and it's a noun and it's usually you do it when you have something in your throat when you go <coughs> Exactly. Cough uh, is a noun and in Georgian it means khvela. Cough, khvela, cough, khvela, cough, khvela. And uh, next is sore throat and it's a noun and in your neck you have your throat and it's when your neck or when your throat hurts and it's sore or yeah. There's some kind of irritation. And it might be accompanied by coughing, right? Oh, exactly, right. Uh, sore throat in Georgian means <coughs> Sore throat, <coughs> Sore throat, <coughs> Sore throat, <coughs> Sore throat, <coughs> And next we have stomach ache. And it is a noun. And it is when your stomach hurts from maybe eating bad food or you have a different problem. And we probably also should say that aches are generally related to pain. So I can say, for example, a headache or toothache or a stomach ache, mm -hmm. right? And a stomach ache in Georgian means mutslistkevili. Stomach ache, mutslistkevili. Stomach ache, mutslistkevili. Stomach ache, mutslistkevili. And next we have flu, which is a noun. And it is when you get a very bad illness or uh, a bug or something like that that makes you very, very sick. Flu is creepy. Flu, creepy. Flu, creepy. Flu, creepy. And next is rash, which is a noun. 
and it is when you have a piece of your body that is irritated, usually the skin, and it starts to turn a different color. Rash in Georgian means kamunagari. Rash, kamunagari. Rash, kamunagari. Rash, kamunagari. Our next word is poisoning. Poisoning is a noun, and in English it means. And in English, it means, especially if you have bad food or old food, then it can poison you and make you feel super sick. Or if you eat something that you probably shouldn't be eating in general. Yes, poisoning in Georgian means mozamla. Poisoning mozamla. Poisoning mozamla. Poisoning mozamla. And next we have cancer, which is a noun, and it is when a group of cells in the body. Start growing in an uncontrollable way and causes great or great harm to your body. Cancer in Georgian means kibo. Cancer, kibo. Cancer, kibo. Cancer, kibo. And next is heart attack, and it is a noun, and it is when you have a huge amount of pain in your chest and your heart stops working. Heart attack in Georgian means gulis shetela. Heart attack, gulis shetela. Heart attack, gulis shetela. Heart attack, gulis shetela. And lastly, we have ointment, and it is a noun, and it is usually a kind of medicine that's in a cream form, and you put it on like a rash or a or piece of your body that hurts. Ointment in Georgian means malamo. Ointment, malamo. Ointment, malamo. Ointment, malamo. So Zach, what type of treatment would you recommend to a person who has the flu? Oh, and usually flu is a little nasty. So、uh, I think you should drink a lot of water. True. And maybe if you have it bad enough, you go to the doctor and they give you some kind of medicine.、Mm -hmm. And you should stay perfectly rested. Don't get up and move too much. Drink、Very、plenty、true. of fluids. Fluids, true. Yeah, <laughs> honey and、uh, vitamin C. Really? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah.、Um, a lemon and a lot of a citrusy food would、oh. also help. Oh, fantastic! Now let's move on to our reading comprehension. Dear Doctor Amy, I am worried about my ten-year-old daughter. I've noticed that she's、uh, coughing a lot, especially after she's been playing in the garden. She has always been very healthy and loves playing sports. So I'm concerned、uh, that、uh, this will affect her quite badly. Do you think it's serious? And can you give us some advice? Thank you, Mrs. Dawson. So, dear Dr. Amy, I broke my arm in an accident while I was ice skating and had the plaster removed a couple of days ago. Now there's quite a bad rash. The hospital told me. To expect a bit of a rash and gave me some ointment for it, but it isn't helping, and my skin is really red and swollen. I don't want to go back to the hospital unnecessarily. They'll think I'm just making a fuss and wasting their time, but I am a bit concerned about it. Do you have any advice, Francis Dewitt? Dear Doctor Amy, my husband has just got a new job working overseas, so we are moving in a few weeks' time. The problem is that I need lots of injections, but I'm scared of syringes. I've been terrified of them ever since I was a child, and even though I am now grown up, my fear has not disappeared. Is there any alternative to syringes that would help me a lot, Samantha? So now let's go on to our reading comprehension. So answer the questions based on the text. Ahoy, ke gadawite tsa kitholis gazre pasem. Upasuhat motsamul kitwabs tekste dagart nobit. So number one, who has already been to the hospital? So our very first question is, who has already been to the hospital? And I think that when we read the text, it was Francis Dewitt. Right, so as she said, the hospital told her to expect a bit of a rash and gave her some ointment, but she's still worried about it. Exactly right. And then number two,、uh, who is writing about a problem that somebody or that someone else is having? 
I think it was Miss, um, Mrs. Dawson. She had a problem about her 10 year old child, mm -hmm. right, coughing um, when um, she used to play in the garden. Yes. And the next question Who wants to find a different solution than the one they are facing? I think it's Samantha. She was scared mm -hmm. of syringes and she wanted to uh, find some other kind of a, a medication to treat herself, right? Yeah, exactly. And the last one here, whose problem is the result of another accident or illness? Oh, I remember it was Francis DeWitt because he broke his arm uh, while uh, ice skating and he had plaster removed a couple of days ago. True. So now let's move on to the grammar section and we will discuss present perfect versus past simple. Ahal ki gada udet grammatika snatzulza. Grammatika shi chuen shavis taurit kan shoebas adzm os rulsa da tsarsul marti udroeb shores. So we use past simple for an action which happened at a definite time in the past. The time is stated, already known, or implied. Present perfect, on the other hand, is used for an action which happened at an unstated time in the past when the exact time is neither mentioned or implied. For example, my son has had an injury. My son had an injury yesterday. Chuan gamo vikhenept, tsarsul marti u dros rodisat mokmedeba dasrul da gansazrul dros tsarsul shi. Dro gansazrulia tsnobilia an nagulis mebia. Chuan gamo vikhenept, atsm osrul dros rodisat mokmedeba mokta gansazrul dros tsarsul shi, rodisat zust idro araris tsnobili an nagulis mebi. We use past simple for an action which began and finished in the past. Present perfect, on the other hand, is used for an action which started in the past and continues up to the present. For example, I have worked as a doctor for 10 years and I worked as a doctor for 10 years. Chuan gamo viqenept tsarsul marti dros iseti mokmedebebis axsanishnavad romlebits dasrul da tsarsul droshi. Kholo atsmqosrul dros iseti mokmedebebis axsanishnavad romlebits daitsqo tsarsul droshi, magram axlats grzeldeba. Magalitat tsinadadebebi. I have worked as a doctor for 10 years. Anu me vimushave ekimat 10 tseli and I worked as a doctor for 10 years. Am ur tsinadadebas shoris gansqoba is aris rom pirveli uchvanebs mokmedebas romelits daitsqo tsarsul droshi da axlats grzeldeba. So now let's move on to our grammar exercise and put the verbs in brackets into the past simple or present perfect. Ahlaki gadawitet grammatic is piro sour chishose. Am sour chishos twitch when the chows at Motsemulis Mnebi, Tsarsul Martiv, and Atzmro a srul droshi. So, number one, I blank this man for about 15 years. So, you must use the verb no. So we need to decide here. We need a past simple or present perfect. So I think that because we have for about 15 years, which shows the period of time, and we also know with, uh, with the word for, we always have present perfect. Mm -hmm. um, the verb should be put in a, a present perfect tense. Thus we have, I have known this man for 15 years. And number two. I blank a lot of people last week at a birthday party and we have to use the verb to meet. So for this one we need to put the verb meet into the past simple and we'll have I met a lot of people last week at a birthday party because the time is indicated when this person met a lot of people. It was last week. So remember every time you have time indicated when the action has finished you usually use past simple. And next we have where blank last summer. So we have the verb to go. And here as well, because we are asking a question about an action that has finished in the past, we use past simple. Where did you go last summer? And as you remember, we form a past simple with the auxiliary verb do in the past tense, thus did. Where did you go last summer? And she blank up smoking two years ago. So we use the verb to give. 
Again, I hope you remember very well that because we have here time indicated when the action has finished, two years ago we need to use past, we need to use past simple. She gave up smoking two years ago. Awesome. And now, how much money blank so far? And we use the verb to win. Here, because we are referring to the action which started in the past and still continues so far, uh, we need to use present perfect. Um, and the sentence would be, how much money have you won so far? So now let's move on to the summary. So for our vocabulary section, we had many words based on uh, health problems. And so, Sophie, do you remember any of the words that we discussed today? Yeah, definitely. We had a heart attack, we had a cancer, we had a cough, flu, we had um, uh, rash poisoning mm -hmm. uh, that was related to food poisoning, um, and some of the treatments like ointment, we had syringe, mm -hmm. as I remember. We had crutches. Yeah, definitely. We yeah. had crutches and some other vocabulary items. Exactly. True. And then we went right along to the reading comprehension, where we had some uh, letters or emails sent to a doctor yes asking about what they should do about certain health problems definitely true mm -hmm. and after that we talked about the differences between a past simple and the present perfect tenses right yeah, totally right and yes. now it's time to move to everyone's favorite the homework the homework and for this homework i want you to create your own letter and send in or uh, and for your homework, we want you to write a short letter to a doctor and ask for advice. Uh, and please send your homework to the address on the screen. And also remember that we have the example for the homework on the website. Uh, I think we should say goodbye. I think so, sadly. Right. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.